Chancellor of the Grand Council of Haven City for heinous acts and crimes against the people. You are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter! Don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. Okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That way! That way! Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do! Yeah, my... Oh, there we go. I know it's being a bit dodgy. Now, now it's stable. Oh, all right. Oh, bent peak. Uh, let's just move. This was all your stupid idea. No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes! Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new Crimson Death Bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of surviving metalheads have concentrated in another section of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. <sighs> right. Good plan, Jack. <laughs> A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. Ah, this bird is overcooked. <laughs> Report! It's bad! The city's become a battlefield! Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section, and the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. We're losing ground on all fronts. The council's meeting tonight in emergency session. Rumblings about you, Jack. It doesn't look good. They think your friendship with crew helped the metalheads get into the city. You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. some live ones <laughs> barely here's the beacon we were picking up who gave you this we'll take them with us let's move i smell a storm coming yeah so uh that's why we're out of haven city uh the city council believes that because we helped screw out on a bunch of missions and uh we were semi his friends even though we really weren't uh, they believe that because of that, because of what we did with crew, it helps the, the metalheads uh, get into the city and attack it.
So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Oh wait, nope. Yeah. I love water. Oh yes. It's so good. Is it dead? Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, king of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> in the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. I was afraid of that. Hail, all citizens of Spargus! Welcome to the Arena of Death, where we get to watch other people wet themselves in fear. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among us. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious fucking animal. Pecker, there you are. Where were you? Demos says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh, Will you stop that? Damus can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! Oh, trust me, Straw Hat. Vigor is definitely an asshole. We will, uh, unfortunately be seeing more of him as we, uh, move along in the game. Anywho, we got a tutorial to go through. Oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Gotta fix camera. Uh... Oh, don't tell me I can't. Eh, where are we? Oh, where do I want to go? Camera. Uh. All right, there we go. You must connect all evil. Oh, no. And unfortunately, this is where the PS4 port of the games. Uh, this is where the PS4 port of the games uh, starts to kind of make a shit on itself. Because this game does not run entirely well. If only we had the answers. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I think. Oh, boy. Oh, 
I just so I know, because I may have to set it at some point. How many child points are you guys getting, like per minute of like viewership? I'm just curious. The candidates have won the challenge. That's right. We bad. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. Readjust the Marathons. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know, I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually wanna hurt us? Fine, bring them on. Alright, that's it. I wanna be on his shoulder. Dexter, when has it been any different? <laughs> also, uh, this game was a uh, kind of what do you would it be called cutting edge? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe cutting edge in the gaming territory because this is one of the few games on uh, on PS2 to have ragdoll physics when you kill enemies. It's quite fascinating for its time. It's very subtle, Ragdoll, but you, you... Once you get into, like, some more fights, you'll notice it. Yeah, no, you're not... No. Dark Jack. Wait, what? Why the fuck? Alright. I don't know why my Dark Bomb didn't go off. It didn't take it away from me. Oh, what? Alright, so I've never died in that section before. I'm just confused as to why my. Because you're supposed to have all your regular dark powers up to this point. No, the you should have all your dark powers up to this point. I don't know why it wasn't procking or yeah, I just don't know why my dark bomb wasn't working. See if it will work again. Oh, okay. I remember that not being the case in the original PS2 release. Hmm. Also, a little annoying. <laughs> Something you're not telling us, animal man. He has been touched with Dark Eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. 
Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware, there is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Hey, what do I get? Nothing, as usual. Yeah, so we get our uh, we got our blaster and our scatter gun back. Also, yeah, they're just throwing random breakers at orbs up here. Oh, thank you. Jeez, I couldn't know. I wouldn't know, game, if you wouldn't, if you didn't tell me. Ooh, now we get to meet this guy. Those were some sweet moves in the arena, boy. But a little more choke, and you would have popped, eh? You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to him? No, I'm conversing with me sweet departed mom. Of course you, you boarhead. You two are from the big smoke, guy. Eh? Who's asking? The guy who runs this place. That's who. Cleaver's the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. In fact, I've got a job for you right now. Ride me leaper lizard here and catch a few of those little buggers that have been raiding me storerooms. Snag me six of them puppies, and I'll let you drive one of me racing vehicles. That is, if oh. Amos ever lets you leave the city. I think we can handle that. No! I hate riding animals! They make me chafe. Alright, hold on, hold on. Things are things are going weird. Things are going weird with me. Hold up. Fuck. Hold on a minute. Right. The things are being weird. I don't know why that's the case. I just have to deal with it. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not even having my mouth open. What the hell? Hmm. Oh. Uh, we have to find those kangarats. Yes, I hear you, Daxter. All right, I I'm sorry. This is being. All right, thank you. Hold on. I'm going to try and fix this because this is really bugging the crap.
Right, sorry about that. Models being all wonky. Alright, so... Uh, I mentioned in the uh, Jack 1 playthrough uh, about the flut flut sections Keep looking. and how they basically reuse the control scheme for... Uh, they, they basically reuse the control scheme for these leaper lizards. Here we get to explore a little bit of Spargus. Get him, get him! So close! I see another one! Missed it by this much! So, uh, uh, just you gotta make sure not to attack the 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 citizens of Smargus because they will fire back at you. Because as you can see, they all they're all carrying guns. So yeah. There's the last one. We got them all. There we go. Anybody else hungry? Not bad, blokes. Maybe me food stores will last a little longer now. If Tamos ever gives you a pass to leave the city, I'll let you take one of me rides for a spin. See you around, newbies. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice threads. I didn't know Rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book. We've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, Dark One. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. Stand back. Hmm. Also, like, you know, the Dark Prowers weren't exactly Jack's choice. So, uh, don't get pissy at him because of something he has.
Take the check. Don't touch it. Dark Eco. Yeah, you're impressed now, aren't you? I'm getting this preps. Those are solid eco crystals. It has been passed down through time that they power the greatest of precursor technologies. Strange. He speaks an ancient dialect. The earliest precursor forms. Something about reclaiming this unfinished world. Those look like coordinates. Like the ones from... It is picking up a very powerful signal. I don't think we're gonna like what this thing is yapping to! <laughs> And you cannot save us from this hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. Da -da -ding! You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. I'm going to assume it's because the light eco crystals are harder to come by. Because as we've seen from uh, the strip mine in Jack 2, dark eco is quite in abundance. I forgot how many precursor orbs actually litter this place. Jelly boy, we'll see who bite your bum, rat face, or I'll pound you. Oh, great stink of the precursors. I got two words for you toothbrush. Nice rides. You like what you see? We use these babies to make runs into the deep desert to retrieve artifacts. Tough wheels for tough work. You said we could use one. I did, didn't I? But not one of those. Those are for the big boys. You can use that one. <laughs> Seems to fit you. Get in, Dax. I'll drive. Can't wager a little something on a race, then. If you win, I'll let you keep that little vehicle for as long as you live. And if I win, I don't have anything. I'd say that yappy rodent of yours is a bit bony, but skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. My vehicle against him. Forget it, buddy. Jack would never done. Mm. What? Don't worry. If there's one thing I can do, it's race. The tough puppy. And the uh, the rubber padding on the on the frame looks like fucking sausages. Yeah, I mean this entire area is basically just Mad Max. Oh, shit. Also, one of the few times Jack actually like wears his bandana and visors or goggles. Goggles. Time to race Cleaver. Let's do this. Here we go.
Oh, someone crashed and burned. Controls from the other races in Jack 2 confused with these ones. This is my race, fuck off. Hell yeah, exactly. Prelude. WPW prelude. Hey, silence bot. It's them KG death bots. Well, they want me to get followers with Prime. Uh oh, fuck. I overshot that. Mmm, boy. Made our power, Cleaver. And yes, this is. Uh, here we have the the new threat by traveling in the wastelands, the Marauders. Nice wheel work. My advisor here says you have vehicle skills. I can hold my own. This one will be of use to us, Demos. I think you should keep him for now. Can it, Pecker? There are a number of artifacts to be found in the wasteland. Fresh storms churn the sand and reveal items that have been buried for centuries. Take the vehicle and find as many items as you can before the storms come again. And one more thing. If you get caught in the storms, they will tear the flesh from your very bones. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. Yeah, there we go. Oh. 
Remember, do we go in that cave? I think we're going in that cave. No, we don't go in that cave. Never mind. We gotta get the fuck back. you found it is very rare indeed pecker here says it's the very armor mar once wore in his battles for this planet long ago keep it for yourself trust me you'll need it yeah we have a new thing we got armor and it also increases our health so as you as you just saw so yeah Occasionally we'll get armor to increase our health and whatnot. It's a lot of good shit. You are still here? Yeah, we thought we'd hang out, catch some rays. This isn't a game. I am seen. Uh. We monks are sworn to discover and protect the secrets of the precursors. These leaper mounts allow us to travel where you cannot. Man, those babies sure stuff their faces. We saw one go below the kangarats not too long ago. Stupid rats. They just sat. Ah! Oh, ah, ah, oh, ah. You will never last out here. That dark eco crystal from the satellite. I want it before it falls into the wrong hands. I'll wager a light crystal against it if you race my monks on their leapers. Sien Komtava. Barush, Barush. Just show us where the starting line is. Now we have. Now we have to race on these monks. Monk. Get set. Ride. See ya, monk boy. Keep going. Also, I, because you mentioned it earlier, um, I believe Jack 3 was released in Japan because I, I, there I'm thinking of the, um, the, the, the European version, but in one of the versions of Jack 3, 
Uh, you actually can't kill the Spargus citizens. Like, usually, it's like, if you kill someone in Jack 2, they just, like, disappear and whatnot, like that. Uh, but in uh, some versions of the game, they just get right back up. Move aside, dumb head. Ah. This has not been good. It's mine. Oh yeah. Ha! We kicked your scaly tail. Back off, you filthy animal. Fine, hero. The crystal is yours. The two types, light and dark, when combined, form great energies. Be careful with them. And when you die, do be kind enough to give them back. I don't be hard to do. Why are you so obsessed with death? Because of that, the day star approaches, and every day it grows brighter. This planet's final trial. Okay, then, so maybe it was the European version I'm thinking of. Yeah, now we have our first light crystal. Whatever could that be used for? Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. looking for a bit of action the scope shows a group of metalheads moving through the desert not too far from here i don't like metalheads almost as much as i don't like you and you've got some proving to do intercept those bad boys and give them hell who knows you might even get a few toys for your effort why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts jack i'm getting some nasty juju vibes here i don't have these whiskers for nothing you know relax we could handle a few metalheads have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Go get him, heroes. <laughs> now we get to see the wasteland metalheads. Oh, joy! Basically fucking T-Rexes. Scratch that. Actually, they, they, it'd be more, it'd uh, make more sense if they were T Rexes with fucking cannons on their backs. Also, welcome, Choco Zombie.
Yeah, I'd say Jack 1 was... Uh, I think it's easy to say that Jack 1 was the most popular game in Japan. I mean, hell, we've all seen the Japanese box art for Jack 1. It's even weirder when you think about that, though, because, like, Naughty Dog and uh, Insomnia... I actually found this out recently because I just watched a, a review of the first Ratchet game, and, um... <clears throat> The guy reviewed it, uh, some call me Johnny, he fucking, um, he brought up how Insomniac and Naughty Dog would basically trade developer secrets with each other because they shared the same office building. Which explains why, um, it explains the Ratchet and Clank promotion in Haven City and Jack 2, and it also explains why... <clears throat> Ratchet in his deadlocked attire is an unlockable character in Jack X Combat Racing. It also explains the Spyro demo in Crash 3, I think it was. It's very interesting stuff. Back in the ye olden days. Absolutely, like, Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank definitely show, they, they definitely showed, like, the potential of the PS2 very well. Well, Lost Frontier... <clears throat> Lost Frontier also wasn't Naughty Dog. So maybe they had, like, leeway to release that one in Japan. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure on Lost Frontier's case. I forgot how annoying this mission can be. You just gotta like play back and forth with this fucking thing. There we go. Oh wait, nope, I forgot. The, the last one fakes out. Well. Oh, yeah, one of the big improvements about this game. They save your fucking progress on missions. So I don't have to hunt down four fucking metal heads. I can just hunt down the one I didn't kill. My bullets, you big lizard. 
I do have to wonder though about the metalheads. Like, are these? Is it easy to say that these are like weird cybernetic creatures, or are they organic? Like, who manufactures these? Like, they're organic in nature, but they also have like, like I said, they have like cybernetic shit on them. Like, who created the metalheads? There we go. Oh, I believe we absolutely should get another Jack game. Like, hell, I I still keep saying it and I will not shut the fuck up about it. We need a remastered trilogy uh, akin to, like, fucking the Reignited trilogy and the, and the Insane trilogy. I'm still waiting, Naughty Dog. Maybe once they're done remastering the remaster of Last of Us, then maybe we'll get Jack and Daxter. <sighs> I still can't believe they're fucking doing that. Okay, well, so I have to actually look at the PS3 version because from what I've seen, like, they're not re they're not remastered in the sense that, like, there's modern kind of like how, so with the insane trilogy and reignite trilogy, they're like brand new graphics and like some quality of life updates and all that. That's what I want with a Jack and Daxter remastered trilogy. Just these games, but like with today's graphics. Could you fucking imagine what it would look like? It would look absolutely amazing. That's what. All right, we're gonna grab some orbs because there are orbs in here too. By the way, this is Deimos' fucking throne room. Because of course it is. Hope you don't mind me breaking your urns. He also has a, uh, a random bottomless pit down here. Which uh, I'm gonna assume goes to like some sort of reservoir. I don't know. I'm just saying shit. skills in the arena face down your fears defeat those who oppose you and we will see if your skills are of use to us the purity of the arena is our only guide excuse me um, mr. Sand King yes I'd like to place a complaint we've been training hard my feet are killing me and I think I'm getting a hangnail so maybe I'll just sit this one out enough talk the arena awaits yeah <clears throat> And here's a new thing added to uh, the Jack Daxter uh, series. We get upgrades of our guns. So we have a regular scatter gun and then we have the, the, the wave concussor, I think they called it. And it's literally just, it's literally just a shockwave. 
and I love it. I believe there's an orb behind here. Yep, there is. Also, like how they gave the orbs like a, uh, a light hue to make them easier to spot. This is a nice little little uh, Q O L right there. I'm just gonna say this now, so I still haven't I still haven't fully played Last of Us uh, Part 1 I have it but I still haven't played it yet and obviously because of that I haven't played Last of Us 2 yet so uh, I, I know the general consensus is kind of avoid it but I'm I don't know I'd have to I'd have to play both of them to like get a solid opinion on it Yeah, I I still look at those um those uh those like Jack uh, that Jack Four concept art and it doesn't look bad like I like it. it. It's just kind of a shame though that it never really went anywhere. Also, yes, the Marauders will fight themselves. Some of these replenish ammo. still alive yeah what a surprise demos and i are very impressed hey featherbutt who appointed you king he did well almost kind of a semi-king you know you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds <laughs> i never get any sleep these days <laughs> it's good to be the king no i don't see no crown on that fat feather head you want a crown i'll crown you don't make me come down there from this perch I got a perch for you, Brody, right here. Twirler. That's it! It's go time! Bring it on, Bird Brain! Enough! If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet and a new weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. And here we have my go-to weapon for the entirety of the game, the beam reflexor. Simply put, it's a blaster, but it, but all the the, the fucking uh, all the bullets ricochet, which uh, is just such a damn good weapon to have.
But yeah, no, but basically like simply put this is the gun I'll basically be using for the entirety of the game Uh, yeah, you could yeah, you could say something like that uh, alpha So be, get ready for a lot of very very awkward moments Anyway, we gotta see what else we gotta do in the wasteland Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way Jack's not afraid of you. Are you Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid. All right. What's going on here? Nothing your lordship just old friend Jack and the little one here some healthy advice You have a reputation for being rash didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father My point is sometimes you face your enemy head-on and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> oh boy, we get to herd some leaper lizards. And of room we go. Damn. Fucking ran right into them. Yeah, we can't crash into anything with uh, with these leaper lizards because obviously they're untamed. I see one. Okay. Cool. Almost there. D Jack, you're supposed to fucking stop and let Dax arrive. There we go. This one's crazy! Wow! God damn it. Wait, was Rift Apart really not received? Was Rift Apart really received not that well? Wahoo! I thought it. I uh, reviews were saying that was like one of the better, like, Yahoo! agree, like yes! Return to the the Ratchet series. I gotta find the pen. Oh, fucking god damn it! Turn around. Whoa. Can't hit the cactus. The 
the cacti. There we go. Do I know something sad though? So a friend of mine posted a uh, posted like the lists of PS because there's probably another reason unless it was already released on PS4. I'm not entirely sure. But as far as I'm aware, Rift Apart is a PS5 exclusive. And a friend of mine posted a list of all the PS5 exclusives, and there's like six games. I gotta get him into the corral. There's like six or seven games that are actually PS5 exclusives. Piece of cake, baby. Also, welcome to the North Coordinator. How are you doing? I am doing quite well. Just playing, obviously, starting off Jack 3. Jack 3 strong with, uh, you know, being in the desert. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Easy, boy. <sighs> Fuck. Come on. What is this fucking silver surfer? You can't touch a goddamn wall and you Here's die? Alright, come on. Come on, Jack. And easy to. Hello. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. I have to admit, you got some talent, kid. Have another one of me vehicles. You earned it. Damn straight. Would it be too much to ask for a foot rub? Uh... Nope, didn't think so. I mean, yeah. That's kind of like the, the main thing. Also, we have the sleeper car now. We can now go over to uh, where this little lovely icon over here is. But yeah, no, I, I just still find it ridiculous how Sony wants to... They want to push for more PS5 exclusives, but... Bro, like, no one can get a PS5. <laughs> Which makes me really sad about Final Fantasy 16 because I really want to play Final Fantasy 16 when that comes out, but I can't because it's going to be PS5 exclusive. And even then, I think it's a timed exclusive too. I'm not sure. I have to check that out. Yeah, it is still because of the chip shortage. I see a PlayStation. Your messages mean nothing to me. Yeah, now we get to go into this little lovely place right here. Uh, I think it's a multitude of things. Like, I think copper is one of the bigger ones. It's like copper and one other like material I can't think off of that my head at the moment. Alright, time to do some platforming. Wait, hold on, what's this over here then? 
Oh, nothing. Just nothing. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Ah, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see it. I didn't. First, our uh, first couple of uh, metalhead skill gems. Okay, game. I don't want to do that backwards. All right, thank you. Wait a minute. Hold on, because there's that. Okay, no, those don't lead anywhere. I don't know why I thought that. No! Oh boy. Okay. Heard you guys like hang lighting. Ooh, sweet. Seems said they lost an expedition of monks on the volcano. I bet they built these gliders to reach the top. Yeah, lost being the operative word. If they vanished, don't you think that was a sign? Hello? Yeah, but you've got me. All we have to do is hit those accelerator rings and we're golden. Oh, no. See any feathers here? Looks like fur to me. No feathers, no fly of the axle. There's no way you're gonna get me on some precursor monk crap! Absolutely zippo chance! Forget it, Benito! Fat chance! Not gonna happen! Nope! Nuh uh! Never! Yeah! Right? Here we can actually, like, kind of see the full extent of the wasteland. Also, who the hell put these accelerator rings up here? I'm gonna assume the monks, but, like, who initially put them there? Someone had to put them there. Unless it's, like, balloons. To pump on balloons? I don't know. Also, we found out the name of that one monk we met earlier. Uh, their name is Seem. So I guess because it seems like we're gonna be seeing uh, seem more soon. Uh, I tried. <laughs>
Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know if I can make it out of that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! Oh my lord. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. I just need you to help me out one more time. Let's a little bit further. There we go. Ah. Well, now we can't go back the way we came. Let's go check it out. Right behind you, partner. Far behind you. I wonder how he got down. I ah, probably caught him. Oh joy, more metal heads. More of the regular kind too. We are unfortunately back to our original firing rate for this thing. Uh, which is, uh, pitiful. Good thing none of these rounds hit the laser. <laughs> I think that's the point, because I don't know if they actually, like, reveal what seems gender is. I, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I, we, we don't know what their, well, we don't know what their gender is. And you know what? I'm gonna respect it. Until I'm told otherwise. There we go. Ah! Oh fuck. Oh no. Why did I do that? I didn't need to do that, but I did. <laughs> now Whoa, there we go and fuck you bah. Daxter section of the game, of which there are quite a few. They, they added quite a few Daxter segments uh, in this, which I don't mind. See, he's actually kind of fun to control. All right. 
I shall keep that in mind. Okay. You can fight well, now I know. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, I think the, uh, they changed Kira's voice actress uh, for pretty much everyone except I think Daxter got a voice change for Lost Frontier. I will say hearing, well, hearing Jack with a different voice for Lost Frontier was really fucking weird when I first played it. Okay, so then she might be the only character's voice to change in that game. Because, uh, spoiler warning, in case you can't, in case you care or not. Um, <coughs> Jack and Daxter and Kira are the only reoccurring characters in Lost Frontier. Like, no other character returns from the previous games. Yes, they did in Lost Frontier. Uh, and they actually fucking kiss at the end of Lost Frontier. They actually show it on screen. Which is weird because of things that uh, I'll get to it later. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it because we might. We'll either I get to it everything. in this part or the next part. But I, I'll be. I'll, I'll talk about what I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> Uh, whenever we get to what I'm thinking of And you know, I'll just say no because so They have this like weird love square slash triangle thing going on with like Jack, Kira, and Ashlyn throughout like all th Throughout Jack's two, three and uh, combat racing which is weird because it's implied at, at least at the end of Jack 2 that Ashlyn uh, has the hots for Torn, which is why I say love square. Fucking hell. God damn it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I actually beat Jack X for the first time like um, like this past year. Uh, which is why I forgot about that because I've only ever beaten that game once because uh, trying to play on PS2 uh, if you for those who don't know play, trying to play uh, combat racing in uh, on PS2 was kind of a pain in the ass uh, Because uh, all the black label covers for combat racing had a saving glitch where you'll go to save the game and it will just say stuck on the saving screen and it will not it would not change 
and I've had at least I think I think I actually got a corrupted save file on one of my memory cards because of that. And it wasn't until the greatest hits uh, version of Jack X where uh, they fixed that problem. You miss me? Like, I can understand the Jack and Ashland ship because, you know, two badasses, like, of course. But like, obviously, main ship is Jack and Kira because that's what they've set up since game one, so. But yeah, um, I remember with one of my first paychecks, I bought a new copy of Jack X on PS2 because I thought that the disc for our other one was fucked. But no, uh, got the new copy. It was another black label. Uh, got the new copy and I still got the same glitch. So I looked it up and found that's how I found out that it was a uh, Primarily all the black label covers of Jack X that had that saving problem But anywho, we're gonna be seeing some plot here What the fuck is all this this uh This mm, Dark matter stuff that we're fighting that we're finding Don't touch it, Daxter. Who knows what more dark ego would do to you? Look at me, Jack. I'm short, I'm hairy, and I itch in strange places. I couldn't do worse. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yuck! Cold, clammy, dead hands. Oh, I can't look. Look out, Daxter! Jack? Jack? Where are you, buddy? It's a dark power tax. Some kind of invisibility. Yeah, well, cut it out. If you moved that fast a long time ago, I'd still be wearing pants. You know what I really miss? Soft underpants. You know how it lifts and cradles? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. We're out of here. Yeah, sir, I think we all understand. Yeah, what the fuck could this be? Holy shit, I actually never did a huge look th look on this. God damn. Yeah, and speaking of voice lines from Daxter, they brought back the death lines from Jack 1. So like I mentioned, uh a few streams ago in Jack. So in Jack one, when you died, Daxter would say some like quip uh, when you died. They brought that back for this game. But uh, unfortunately, you need to have that same death animation from Jack one play because Jack one only had one death animation. And I think you need to get that specific death animation in order for those quips to actually like proc. Yeah, anywho, we have a new dark power, invisibility. And unfortunately, it's only situational. It's as situational as it goes. Wow, Brawlkaiser hated the death quips? God damn. That, that's a little unexpected, honestly. Hmm.
Wait, hold on. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, fuck. Also, new thing when it comes to turning into Dark Jack. Turning into Dark Jack de uh, deals damage to enemies. So, yeah, that's fun. And, you know, I, I mean, it's probably obvious at this point, but there's a lot of um, things from Jack 1 they brought back for Jack 3. Like, you have the Death Quips, you have the Leaper Lizard, which is just a, uh, a reskin uh, Flut Flut, and then you have the, the Eco Vents. By the way, I think this is one of the, this is one of the areas in the game where uh, you get those Death Quips to proc uh, a, a lot. So like, yeah. All right, cut. Where's the director? I can't work like this. And there's a lot more. We'll play more of them. And it doesn't want to play the animation. Please, Jack, you're such a wimp. I could have taken it myself. Also, another show the fact that they just reused uh, Daxter's Jack 1 model for gameplay. Yeah, it's not every death. It's specifically, like I said, it's it's specifically this animation right here. Eight, nine, ten, and he's down for the count. You're out. All right, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to that then so that I can... Okay, here it is. Skull gems. I actually don't know what these are used for in this game. Oh, you know what? I, I think it just clicked with me. Um, I believe the skull gems in this game are used for accessing certain uh, certain challenges. I think so. So like you had the challenges from the first game, which could get you extra precursor orbs or not first game, second game. And obviously they're back in this one, but I think you need to use the, uh, the skull gems for them. All right, cool. Completely overshot it.
reason why this gun is the best gun in the game. You know what it brings. Unfortunate, yes. We will deal with that as soon as I have full access to the catacombs. Just continue your work, and I'll deal with those idiots in Haven. I promise, you will meet your makers. Why are the catacombs so important? Why are they talking? Why is Seam talking to fucking Vigor? We shall find out soon. Hey, it's one of those gooberide precursor thingies. Greetings, great warrior. Your return brings us great hope. This planet's future is at a critical juncture. The Dark Ones have found your world again, and fate hangs in the balance where the past and the future collide. Do you have any idea what he just said? Speak up the normal language, okay? You Baxter, that is insensitive. Master to survive this terrible test, Great One. I can handle it. I was talking to the Tall One, Shorty. Hey! Look into the light and receive a power hero. Okay, well, now you're scaring me. Dax, the Dark Eco. It feels far away. I feel better. Yep. And now we have our new form, Light Jack. We have our first Light Jack ability, which is uh, basically healing ourselves. Now. We're about finished here. Let's head back to Spargus. Ouch. Whoa. All right. What to say? Sound? Oh shit! I forgot how to jump. There we go. Are you serious? That actually killed me? Huh. Oh, wait, yeah, hold on, I gotta do my favorite thing with this... With this car. Well, I gotta get... Good... Place, and then... Whoop! 
favorite thing to do with this it's specifically is with this vehicle specifically because of how high you can jump oh boy come on Let's head over to the palace and see what Deimos wants. I wish I could take the Leaper Lizard with me. Attention all people of Spargus! A large storm is heading our way. Prepare the city! Jack, there are four Wastelanders out there who still have not reported in. I want you to go out and find them. Do whatever it takes to bring them back. All right, this mission right here was a pain in the ass. <laughs> this will be the last one we do before I call it. Just to get it out of the way. Time to make another daring rescue. All right, you want to get you, you want to why this mission was such a pain in the ass because this fucking because he had to use this car, and um, the problem with this car, right, is that even if you turn it ever so slightly, going full speed, the the vehicle has a high likely chance of basically spinning out like that. It has gotten me so many unfair deaths in this mission. This was one of the worst missions to play as a kid. Please help! Right, get your ass in I here. Can't your phone. Let's move. Yes, you have to use this car. You can't use the, the jumpy vehicle because it's a one-seater, and you can't use the tough puppy because, uh, you know, it doesn't have guns. And I think that's, I, I think that vehicle's also a, also a one-seater. Nice driving! See you back at the city! Get in. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. Try 
drive, brother. Come on. Good word in with Davis. I see how the timer jumped up from like one minute to four. We got a new dark eco crystal, but now we gotta deal with this fucking thing. Another one of these things, and uh, it's uh, full function, so. Fully functional uh, drone, I think it'd be uh, appropriate, or probe. Back to the city. You know, hopefully not crash and burn on the way. That would be most ideal.
Oh, okay. I think I know what mission we're going to now. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is... Alright, so this is the next mission we'll be doing, but we're going to save that next mission for the next part of Jack 3. So, we've been cast out of Haven City for a bunch of bullshit, and now we are trying to gain trust with the people of Spargus, as well as their king, Deimos, and uh, Cleaver. Especially Cleaver. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, plans for the rest of this week. So, Jack 3 on Friday. And, uh, probably random stream on Saturday. Which sounds pretty good. And then, uh, next week I have Monday and Tuesday off. So we will do, uh, we will do Jack 3 on, actually, no. Hold on. I remember my stuff. Oh, you know what? Actually, because for the next two weeks, I have Mondays off. Uh, next two weeks, we will be bringing back Mom Blade Monday uh, briefly. So I'll be playing Bannerlord next Monday, actually. So, yeah, Bannerlord next Monday and Jack 3 next Tuesday. So, yeah, some cool little content for uh, for you guys there. Uh, I can't believe I just said that sentence. Man, I gotta find... I gotta find someone to... somewhere to take you guys. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. You know what? McMorgan is currently on right now. He's currently playing Chivalry 2. Uh... I obviously, so, um, McMurray and I, I obviously did a Chivalry 2 collab a couple weeks ago, or at least we attempted to. My internet was a piece of shit that day. So, hopefully, with the new internet coming in soon, uh, we should be able to do an actual collab stream together proper. So, yeah, we're gonna send y'all, I'm gonna send y'all over to McMorgan. My buddy. My wild hunt brother. All right. Uh, need Morgan. The not Mark. He's not a Mark. I mean, he could be. I actually don't know. I have to ask him. I'll ask him when we go in. Uh, Mark. Uh, as always, raid message is. The Bouncy Hunter arrives in all caps. So, if you guys are enjoying the scene and haven't already, don't forget to give me a follow over here on Twitch, turn on notifications for whenever I go live. The links are going follow me both Instagram and Twitter so you get notified of any stream updates and announcements that I may have. There's also a link to my YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. This is where I post the VODs for the Mount Blade Monday series as well as the main playthroughs I do for the channel. All of the parts of the Jack 2 playthrough are now public and available to watch on the YouTube channel, as well as all the parts from Jack 1, XCOM Enemy Unknown, all the fancy, the fancy fun shit. You go to the YouTube channel and watch the VODs for that. Um, this part, again, you, you know, you, you get what's been happening at this point with me and YouTube's editor. Uh, software shit, so. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully I can get this part out to you guys soon on the channel, but if not, I'm just, just going to have to deal with it, but I'll, I'll get out to you eventually. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday night, evening, morning, whatever the case may be. Give me and all my love, and I will see you guys uh, on Friday for some more Jack 3. See ya.